suddenly disappeared, Baker disclosed shocking truth at Meg's house on Lilibet's birthday. The baker who made the Duke and Duchess of Sussex's wedding cake has revealed a few snaps of a £244 floral two-tier strawberry buttercream cake made for Lilibet's first birthday. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle enjoyed the British summer sunshine and hosted a relaxed garden party in June for their daughter in the Windsor estate with birthday cake balloons, party games and picnic snacks. East London baker Claire Ptak, who made the couple's wedding cake in 2018, created treats for the low-key bash including a two-tier cake that featured a seasonal strawberry buttercream. And yesterday, she shared a new snap of the cake on Instagram as part of a highlights reel of 2022. In the snap, she can be seen placing a pink peony onto the cake, which featured the youngster's name. However, today she unexpectedly posted a status on Instagram, which revealed shocking details about Meghan's daughter. Specifically, she said, Last afternoon, I personally delivered the birthday cake that Meghan had requested to her home to prepare for her daughter's first birthday. But what shocked me, I didn't see any children. And I immediately asked Meghan, where's your daughter? Soon after, Meghan became extremely confused and worried. This made me believe that she has no children at all and that everything Meghan said in her interviews is fake. Recently, a conspiracy surrounding Meghan Markle has been reignited with the launch of Netflix's Harry and Meghan documentary series. The conspiracy revolves around the theory that variously claimed Markle used a surrogate, that her children with Prince Harry were not even hers, and in extreme cases that her children don't even exist. Meghan Markle's estranged half-sister Samantha Markle has regularly slammed her royal siblings with the latest criticism involving conspiracy theories that suggest Meghan and Prince Harry's children aren't real. Now, in a new exclusive conversation with the Daily Star, Samantha hinted at the same, claiming that Meghan and Harry's Lilibet Diana Mountbatten Windsor is still a mystery to the British royal family. Samantha was quoted as saying, It's such a mystery and it's bad for Her Majesty after Lilibet was named after her. She went on to add, But the problem is that Meghan and Harry have created a situation where it's very awkward and uncomfortable for them to go back. Samantha, who's also launched a defamation lawsuit against the Duchess of Sussex, also blamed Meghan and Harry for their children not getting to meet Harry's side of the family. If Lilibet and Archie don't get to meet the royal family, well, that was their parents' decision to create the situation that made that difficult, she said. In other news, Prince Harry has been warned there's no way back into the royal fold after monetizing private conversations with his father, King Charles and brother Prince William. Loose Women host Jane Moore poured scorn on the Duke of Sussex's attempt to blame both for their current estrangement, accusing him of kicking them over the fence. While announcing their departure from the royal family, the Sussexes said they would continue to be available to serve part-time, but were later rebuked by the late Queen. Miss Kelly told the Meghan Kelly show, There was obviously a way for them to leave their royal roles and stay in England and continue serving the people. There are plenty of royals who aren't working royals, they chose to leave in a huff because they wanted the attention, because they're brats. Because they wanted $100 million from Netflix in order to tell their story. That's actually what happened here. It's not about, oh, we tried to resolve it privately, but we couldn't. So we had no choice but to bring these matters out. They wanted the